Hi everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at how we can create dynamically Excel worksheets using Power Automate Desktop. Let's jump in! Okay, so I have Power Automate Desktop open and the first thing we need to do is to create a new flow. So we can go on the top left and create a new flow this way or we can click on the button to create a new flow. We're going to give it a name and click on create. Now after that, this is going to open the designer and let me recenter it. And one of the first things that we can do before opening Excel is kill the Excel process. So we're going to terminate just in case Excel is already open in our machine. So on the search, we're going to click on terminate and we're going to terminate the process. So we just have to drag and drop. Then we can specify if we want to kill the process by process name. And that's what we're going to choose. And we're going to put Excel and click on save. And now what we can do is we can launch Excel. So again, if I remove the search, you have categories in here and we would have Excel somewhere, but if you don't find it, you can just um, type Excel and then we have everything that's under the category Excel. So we want to launch Excel. And do we want to launch a, a new blank document? So in our case, that's what we are going to do. And we can see that it's going to create a new variable, which is called Excel instance. So if you don't like it, you can change it, but I think it makes sense. So I'm just going to click on save. And another thing that I wanted to show you as well is how we can uh, delete a worksheet. So in our case, when we think about it and we open Excel, we have this sheet one that's already created. Now we cannot delete that right now because we still need to have one sheet available in Excel. So we'll do that at the end. So now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to get all the worksheets that we have in Excel. So we have an action um, which is called uh, get the worksheets. So I'm just going to type worksheets and we have get all Excel worksheets. So I'm going to drag this in and we're going to get the Excel worksheets from the Excel instance that we have currently open. So again, that makes sense at this point. So I'm going to leave that name and I'm going to click on save. And this is where we are going to start creating our worksheets. So if you're familiar with PowerShell, what we are going to be using is a loop and in PowerShell, the equivalent is the for loop. So for example, you had um, for i equals zero, if i is less or equal than such and such, then usually increment by one. So that's what we're going to use here. So I'm going to go and do a search for a loop. And we're going to pick the first one. So let's say for this scenario, we're going to create worksheets from one to five. So we want to loop through each worksheet and we want to call it a specific name starting at one and finishing at five. So we're going to start from one, we're going to end at five and we're going to increment by one all the time. Now, the variable that it's going to create is called uh, loop index. And again, if you want to change that, you can, but for this demo, we're just going to keep it and click on save. And now what do we want to do in this loop? So we want to create a new worksheet. So let's do a search for add worksheet. And if it's not working, we're just going to do add and we add new worksheet and we're going to place it inside the loop. And again, we're going to use this Excel instance that we created at the beginning and we're going to give it a name. So for this example, we're going to call it PAD for Power Automate Desktop. And then we're going to add the index number at the end of the, the name. So in that case, I'm going to go into the variable icon. And when we want to add the number, remember, we want to add the loop 
index because we're going to loop through one, two, three, and so on. So I'm going to put the loop index and click on select. And where do we actually want to add this new worksheet all the time? So if we add it first, then we're going to have the PAD one, and then the second one, it will be first. So we're going to have the number five, four, three, two, one. But if we want that in order, we need to add the new worksheet last. So we would have PAD one, PAD two, and so on. So I'm going to put last worksheet and I'm going to click on select. And now that we have created those worksheets, we can now delete the first one that we had at the very beginning when we start Excel. So let's do a delete and look for delete Excel worksheet. And I'm going to put it outside the loop this time. Okay. Um, again, the Excel instance as usual and delete the worksheet with the name or the index. We know we'll have one, uh, we know the name already. So we are just going to put that as sheet one, because that's the name we have when we open an Excel uh, file and click on save. So at this point we could just stop there, but just for fun, we're going to add a new message at the end. So display a message. And this one would be all done, for instance. And then the message to display would be all done. Check it out. And for the icon, let's do information because this is not a warning or an error or anything like that. And then click on save. And now we are ready to run the flow. So you're going to be able to see with the blue line where the script is actually at this point in time and where it goes through. So we have our message all done. Check it out. That's good. And then my Excel file, which is a little bit outside the frame. Let me bring that back in, in here. And you can see at the top that we have PID one, PID two, three, four, and five. And we also do not have the sheet one um, at the beginning. 